Okay guys, I haven't been on YouTube in a while because I have been super, super busy. And um, Christmas just came around last month. And I've been doing some research because a bunch of people were sending me comments on how do you convert to MP4 with Media Coder? And I told them to use the YouTube downloader thing to uh, convert it to MP4. But I noticed that it um, gave me a lot of problems. I mean, a lot of problems. Like, the video is like, this isn't as good as quality. And when I put it into my program, like Sony Vegas, it would like screw up. I don't know if that happened to you, but um, I figured out a way in me Media Coder to convert it to MP4, aka iPod format, and I'm sure a bunch of you know how to do it already, but I'll just review it. So open up Media Coder. Then you just add a video. Alright, I'll just add this video. It's a video I made in 3D, 3D Max 9. So I'll just import that. And so after you do that, um, it's usually set on AVI with all this stuff here. But to get it to MP4, most people we just use mp4 and click start and it would say error cannot continue or something and it closes the program or something like that so um... this is how i do it you go to extensions okay as you can see there's a lot of choices you can use an apple tv a digital video player a psp flash video anything but we are going to go over to Apple iPod. Now Apple iPod and PSP are the same format, so I don't think it'd make a difference, but we'll just use Apple iPod for this demonstration. Okay. Now it automatically gives you everything. Um you need to know it makes it the right um makes it the right format it makes the audio the right format it makes the right size which is important it doesn't crop anything it gives you the um, default frame rate the bit rate and the quality and it's got a little iPod thingy over here but all you do is click start and it should yeah see it starts right here and once it's finished you just open it up in the folder it went to which basically MOV and MP4 or work with both work with iPod but I just convert it to an MP4 and you click it and it's right there the quality goes down a little bit because you change the dimensions which makes the video smaller but I'm pretty sure if you go into the extensions and um, and change them then it'll probably stay the same size 640 by 480 <clears throat> okay whenever it's done open it and see it's the same size as it was before it's the same size as it like the uh, the uh, aspect ratio I should say is the same size so if you want it to m maintain the same quality as your first video make sure your dimensions are the same and yeah oh and just to show you this works I'm gonna open up iTunes because sometimes it'll say Oh, it won't be copied to this iPod because file error or something, but I will show you that it really does work. Okay, so I opened up iTunes. Make sure you click your Movies tab first before you import it, or else it won't work. It might work sometimes, 
but I find it a lot easier to just open up the movies tab, drag the earth dot or whatever your video is called dot mp4 or mov, and just drop it in. And at the top it should load, but if it doesn't, that usually means it's a really short video. So here, yep, here we go. And it works. So, yeah, if you guys got any questions, you can just uh, leave a comment. And if you haven't downloaded Media Coder, um, I suggest you do that. I'll get a, put a link in the description. But, anyway, yeah. Sorry I haven't made a video tutorial in a while. I've just been really busy. But I will be making one pretty soon. Probably today. If i got enough time, it's 10.33. But, anyway, all right. See you guys. I forgot to show you one thing. Um, I wanted to show you that it actually works to put the video onto the iPod. Okay, so here's it. Here it is on the iPod. Uh huh. And there we go. That is my tutorial. Oh, sorry. I forgot one thing. It's actually it's not anything about the tutorial at all. But I used to use Cam Studio right here. For my first video tutorial I used Cam Studio. But now I have Cam Studio or I mean I have Camtasia Studio five. And it is awesome. I mean it's way better than Cam Studio. So, yeah. Anyway.